Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordy and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. These readings are general just like every other YouTube reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If you find after a couple minutes this video doesn't fit your story, then don't, I recommend, uh, like don't be discouraged. I recommend checking out another reading on my channel with a title that stands out to you. Because there was a reason why you clicked on this uh, reading today and uh, something pulled you towards my channel and I know you'll find a message. There's so many on my uh, home page. You can even go over to the video section and hit popular videos if you want to see the most popular ones. Uh, yeah, so anyway. Um, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. We're going to get started by pulling some spirit animal cards. Then we'll move into a 10 card tarot spread using the Modern Witch Tarot. Okay, what's going on for Pisces Collective? We have the Dolphin Spirit. This card says this and that are true. It's a playful energy. We can talk about dishonesty or there being multiple truths to a situation. We also have the pig spirit, which says, use your mind wisely. Pig spirit is also very abundant and lucky. It says spirit has a plan underneath the bottom of the deck with the koala spirit. So we'll see what comes up in the tarot. And then we'll kind of tie them all together. We have the eight of swords. Influencing that position is the death card. We have the nine of wands. And uh, in the recent past, we had the Judgment Reverse. Okay. In the distant past, we have Hanged One. In the future, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Magician Reverse representing you. We have the Two of Cups in the environment position. We have the Page of Cups reversed as the uh, Fear and Desire. And in the outcome is the Six of Cups. Interesting. We have the Two of Wands reversed underneath the bottom of the deck. Okay, now this isn't going to be everybody's story, that is for sure, because there's a relationship dynamic going on here, whether you're currently in union or whether you're in separation right now. Um, it looks like uh, recently there's been some second thoughts running through someone's head. Something's motivating somebody to reach out and to, uh, you know, see how you're doing. Um, You've got the Knight of Wands here and the Two of Cups. Somebody wants to pr pursue you, you know? See what's going on. Take action. Let's ignite some passion. All of that stuff. The Judgment Reverse talks about second chances. Um, reviewing things over again. Uh, sometimes it talks about forgiveness. A lot of people read that upright and say those things, but 
to me when the up, when the judgment card is upright it's like something is very final um but yeah i'm getting forgiveness i'm getting uh second chances here and i and the, then we have over in the current moment this eight of swords and the death card so somebody is blindfolded here somebody doesn't actually see the potential that is available here um, and they're going to be quite surprised when this Knight of Wands like comes back into their life, um, wanting to interact. Um, it's almost as if you may have closed out this chapter with this person, or they may have closed out this chapter with you. And um, to you, there was finality to it. Like there was no going back. There, there was. It felt like everything was destroyed, you know, there was no hope, you know? So in your mind, you believe that this is over. And you know what? Maybe it needs to stay over. I don't know. You know, maybe this isn't the most healthiest dynamic. Um, but there is advice here for those special few people who have been in separation with someone who was fairly important, didn't expect for them to reach out, thought th thought it was completely done and over, but now, you know, in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, maybe even a couple of days, somebody is reaching out and uh, you're not going to know what to do. You're going to feel unprepared. You're going to feel thrown off guard. Um, you might not have even wanted this to happen, yet this in in connection is strong. And it looks like this person comes in, realizes like, oh, you're not on the same page as them. You've moved on or you have um, closed down, shut down emotionally, for instance. And they're going to slow things down. They're going to be patient. You know, they're going to switch tactics instead of just rushing in and trying to you know reignite something they might they might they might slow the horses down with this knight of pentacles in the future and then try to give you you know space and time to uh, consider their offer um you may be fearing that they're just you know wanting to get something out of you um that there's no substance to what they are offering with this page of cups reversed. But the outcome is the six of cups. I mean, if I saw this death card and I didn't see the two cups and six of cups upright in the environment in the oak composition, I would say this is a done, a dead and done deal, you know. But um, especially where the hanged one is in the past and then the judgment card is reversed next to it, that's like an opening after being suspended, after being on hold. And uh, yeah, so it's one of those messages where the third, you know, this person comes back and blah, 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 you know, <laughs> classic YouTube reading. <laughs> Sometimes they happen on my channel. I can't control the cards. Um, Spirit does have a plan that's saying, use your mind wisely. Um, you know, your truth is, is valid in this situation, but their truth might also have some validity to it as well. And there is an energy here of the past being the outcome, uh, beautiful memories to share and to build together. You've got two soulmate cards here. And uh, I'm just hearing from them, don't overreact to this person and also to me as a YouTube reader. <laughs> but um, it's one of those things where you're just going to have to let me know in the comments if it happens or not someday. You know, if it doesn't happen, then it wasn't your reading. You know, I, I just want to clarify that because I feel like lately some of the comments have been a little bit intense. And I know I can't control that, especially as the channel grows and grows, but I'm trying to not be your typical reader here who, you know, I, I'm not saying that all readers do this, but... Um, I want to be your reader here who gives you practical advice for any type of situation, any type of scenario. So even if this type of scenario is going to happen, I'm going to say to you with the oracle cards here, use your mind wisely. 
you know, your situation is true, but their situation, there might be some truth to it as well. Spirit has a plan, so don't don't just discount this immediately when it comes into your life, because there could be something beautiful that comes out of this. And the tarot cards show that possibility. If different tarot cards were here, I would say, oh, it's, it's not worth your time. Um, obviously, this person was super toxic or abusive or um, really done you dirty in some way, then uh, that's very complicated. And, uh, you know, the only thing I'm getting from the past position is that um, there could have been a substance abuse problem or there could have been... Um, uh, major delays, major setbacks in someone's life um, that prevented this union from being together in the last period of time. You might not have, not have even been together with this person very long or you know there might not have been an intimate relationship with this person and they might just be somebody who you know you've known and maybe you've Maybe there's possibility there now. So anyway, if you look at the individual card pairings, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is when someone's feeling trapped, pressured, isolated. They don't know what to think. They don't have all the answers. They're kind of blind to a situation. So somebody sees that. They see that you might be struggling with opening up your eyes to this connection and they're they're going to go slow with that slow moving knight of pentacles energy it's a very sincere energy as well it's one of my favorite cards we have the death card and we have the magician reverse so you may have thought that you manifested a complete ending in this dynamic but obviously the manifestation has changed or backfired or gone a different way so um, even though the death card signifies like finality in a reading, it's next to a card of illusions and and uh, constructs within our mind that don't exist, the Eight of Swords. Um, so, you know, it could have just been a, a transformation process that you had to go through. That might be what it's talking about. Um, and that this person is going to see your transformation that you've gone through. Um, we have the Knight of Wands and they have the Two of Cups. That's very easy. It just talks about, you know, trying to manifest quickly, passionately, a relationship, acting towards it. We have the uh, Judgment reversed and the Page of Cups reversed. This is when we're reevaluating, we're forgiving feelings, and... Um, The Page of Cups also talks about uh, imagination. So someone's imagining the possibilities. Um, we have the Hanged One. And we have the Six of Cups. So this almost this could mean that you've been dreaming about this person coming back, or like in your night nighttime sleep, or um, this can also represent a uh, a past dynamic that kind of suspended the potential in this relationship. But the outcome is the Six of Cups, which does talk about kind of like harmony and balance and and pleasure and all of that in the current moment. Feeling at home with somebody. All right. So I'll say this for the third time in a row. Use your mind wisely. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, this story might be yours. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you again soon.